So tonight in Strange Italian Films, I watched another Ettore Scola film. This one from the 70s. This was 1976's uh, Brutti Sporci e Cattivi. No, shoot. I messed that up. Brutti Sporci e Cattivi. That was bad Italian. Four. Um, Ugly, Dirty, Bad, which... Or ugly, dirty, and bad, and bad, which also was also released in America as down and dirty, but the ugly, dirty, bad is what it's actually said, and that's a better title, I think. He won uh, best director at the Cannes Film Festival for this film. It is strange. On Wikipedia, it's described as an Italian grotesque film. It's pretty much if fits grotesque um, in the you know phantasmagoric sense of grotesque. So basically, it follows a very large, very poor family in the shanty town outside of Rome. Uh, the matri or the patriarch has one eye that got um, destroyed in an accident, and so uh, the insur an insurance a uh, agency has given him a million uh, lira, I guess, and he refuses to spend it on his family. There are four generations of his family, including many children, grandchildren married people, etc., etc. Looks like about 20 people all living in this shanty. He refuses to use his money. Everybody hates everybody. Everyone has weird relationships with each other. Um, and uh, after the last straw is when the um, patriarch falls in love with a prostitute and brings her home to live with his wife and his children and his grandchildren and all of these extended relatives um, and starts finally using his money, but for her. That's the straw that breaks the camel's back, and they decide to try to poison him. However, it does not work. More shenanigans ensue. Everyone tries to kill everybody. It has a very strange ending. Apparently, it's supposed to be sort of a social satire on uh, class and um, wealth and what have you in social standing in Italy at the time. I don't know enough about 1970s Italy and specifically Rome to um, really comment. Sort of is like the exact opposite of La Dolce Vita in that La Dolce Vita obviously in 1960 for Fellini was very much about the opulence of rich Romans and this is the exact opposite of that. However, it's still the same sort of um, overwhelming almost uh, circus-like feeling of the action and of the the uh, comedy and and never-ending story that is the lives of these people. Um, so to that, it's very, it feels very Italian. Um, it's use of sex to be funny in ways that sometimes are uh, basically rape was not great. Um, however, if you look at 1976 and the ideas of what is consent and what isn't consent, one of them is still definitely rape. The other one, I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. Not great. Um, it's doing some interesting things, however, with both sex workers and um, gender uh, representation and presentation. So that was kind of interesting. Um, it definitely had moments that reminded me of a Marcord. Um, so all of my references for uh, Italian cinema, if it's strange and weird or Fellini, and if it's um, esoteric and weird, then it's Antonioni, basically, in my head. Um, but I've seen, like, uh, several hundred Italian films, so I have seen many other directors, but those are the ones that, like, always float to the top. Um, so anyways, it's a very strange, very Italian film. A lot going on. I'm not sure that I liked it, but I guess I can appreciate creating such a such a, a, a crazed din of a film. Um, so this was Ettore Scuola's. I'm not gonna say it in Italian again. Ugly, dirty, bad. I don't know enough about Italian living to understand quite the satire. I have a great book on Italian cinema that I haven't read. Because most of the film, or about half the films referenced, I still haven't seen. I'm trying to like watch all the Italian films and then read the book and then maybe rewatch the films. I don't know. Maybe I should read the book first. I don't know. Anyways, you can watch this on Filmstruck until Friday. 
when it expires, and that's why I just watched it today. Ugly, dirty, bad, it's Warscola. Strange, grotesque, Italian social satire.